Alright, alright, alright. Welcome to another one about my stumps. World of Tanks Xbox One replays. Platooned up with the Grey Joe, he's in his T43. Uh, Duran Grey is in the IS. I'm in the Chiri. We're on Melanoff Green. It is a tier 7 game. So, should be pretty easy. Shouldn't be anything too complex. Um, the Chiri, I, this is before I got the autoloader. Uh, I just did a video, actually recorded a video before this, um, which was after the autoloader. Um, but I've gone back to the to the uh, the single load, single shot, um, to finish the Chiri off because it just, for my play style, it seems more versatile. Um, the auto loader is great in close up situations, but long distance. Not saying it wouldn't work really good, but for me, I tend to pull the trigger too quick. <laughs> Try to get those shells gone, and um, if you don't let it aim, then you don't hit. So we're gonna sit here. And uh, we're thinking about what we we're gonna do. Um, I was this night. I remember this night pretty good. I was kind of just like, Ugh. oh, look at that! Right through the right through the window into the T25 too. <laughs> We'd had some bad games, and I just, I was like, all right, I'm not pushing up. I'm gonna stay down here and just, just you know, play sneaky bitch. Try to put in some into that T20, but uh. Yeah, it's almost impossible. Uh, just not going to happen. Actually, uh, anyone watching this video, um, it's pretty boring on my end until uh, probably halfway through. Um, so, anyone looking for a lot of exciting gameplay right now? Yeah. You're going to see shots like that bounce off the side of the turret, the T29. And I bounced again because he spun around. I don't know what saw me right there. I have no idea what what spotted me. I mean, because he was far enough back that I guess if he had, you know, a bunch of skills and everything else, it's possible. But I'm uh, quite a ways back right there. Come out and a shot fires across my bow, so something can see me down there. Could be that T20, I guess. Um, but I don't think so. I think it's at T29. I know T29s have good uh, view range, uh, but you know when I'm sitting behind a rock, and at this distance, you'd think that, eh, you know, there's trees in front of me down there. At least towards the T29, there's trees in front of me. Um, so there should be some some cover, sort of some you know, out of a lot of sight. But yeah, maybe there's something down over the hill spotting me. I guess. We're throwing at that T25 AT and we miss. You know, maybe it's not the T29 spotting me. Maybe it's something doing some spotting down over the over the hill down at like J3 or something. So you see, I fired a bunch of bunch of shells here, and I've only hit one one shot. Um, the tank that was out in front down there that was spotting for us, he is no longer alive. So it's it's almost time to get out of dodge. Because they're going to start pushing. And when they start pushing, this tank has no armor. And I'm the only one down here. If you look at the map, the mini-map, I'm the one furthest down from everyone. Um, so, you know, 390. I was a little bit close to that, probably 370 or so. So the T29, he has the view range to see me. But I would think that those the tree down there in front of me, not the one right in front of me, but the one down below where its branches kind of hide me, I would have thought they would have kept me covered, but apparently not. Um, yeah, just... I would have thought they would, but... You know. And seeing I'm the only tank down here, and even if I spot stuff, no one's going to shoot down here. Um, we're down by a tank right now, and we got artillery, but uh, I'm telling these guys to fall back, because I'm falling back. I'm not going to sit down there, because they're not even looking this way. The M12, you know, they're just... Even if we spotted those tanks down there... They're all looking at the hill, which isn't necessarily bad. I would think one of the artillery would uh, fire down this way, you know. But, you know, this is what they get for for not firing down this way at all. I'm leaving. <laughs> you know, if I'm the only one down there with no armor and not a big gun and no artillery support and no tank destroyer support or anything, I ain't staying. I'm starting to get better at that, you know, just saying, screw this position. I'm out of here. Screw this. I'm out of here. I can't very, do a very good captain, sorry. I should go get the, uh... Oh, there goes Duran and Joe. They're both out. We're down by a couple tanks now. 
But I'm moving into a more solid position for, for defending the hill when they come across. Ooh, set the T-29 on fire. How do you like that, buddy? Missed the second shot, but, you know. Too bad I didn't set him on fire, right? <laughs> Just looked like I did when I shot. My shot went right there, and, you know, he caught on fire the minute my shell went right over him. And we missed the T-25, too. So, yeah, here we are, what? Five minutes and three seconds into this game, and I've only got one penetrating shot. Definitely not a very good game as of yet. And again, we missed the T-29 on an auto lock. Can we hit him this time? No, nope, we're going to go right above him because that's how this game goes. I've kind of figured that, you know, stuff like this happens. If I shoot 30 shots, it's going to start penetrating because then I'm going to be on the, on the good side of RNG. There's two in a row. Ammo rack and hit him the next shot. T-29, here we go. He's going to come right in front of me. Can we get him? Affirmative. So now RNG has decided that, you know, it's made me miss 80% of my shots, so we'll let him have a few. Panzer 5 M10. That's kind of a piece of crap tank. I have it. I don't really like it. Ain't much, ain't much good about it. Uh, there's still a tank destroyer up there, so I want to keep my ass below this hill. Um, teams are even at the point at this point, but then we lose one. Uh, you know, them artillery that just sat there and wouldn't help me on that side. Ooh, put one in the back of the M10. And we put one into the T25AT and hit him hard and did nothing. Didn't even track him. Trying to just track the T25AT to keep my tanks down there alive, but, you know. New plan is to destroy the T25AT, so he's out of the game. Panzer 5 M10. PZ5 M10, whatever. And now the artillery, he, oh, he's starting to move now. I'm going to load some AP. So uh, these shells penetrate when they hit. If they hit. There we go. And of course we bounce. Of course we hit the side of his tank. So. 126 there. 112. 149. Now he's facing me. Kind of sucks. But his gun doesn't do much more damage than mine. So I think I can outgun him. And of course he takes out my gunner. Of course it does. Of course. Gores. So, I uh, was okay finishing off them guys. And like I said, the beginning of the game kind of sucked, but that right there, that wasn't so bad, I guess. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to bebop through the uh, ammo there. Couldn't decide what I wanted, but I'm only up against an artillery, so. And uh, there's me and Tank Destroyer in front of me. The Hellcat, he's much faster than I am, so he'll probably find the artillery before I do. Uh, full health Hellcat, so what has he done all game? I don't know. But uh, I know he hasn't taken any damage for whatever he did. I have no idea where he was or what he was doing. Uh, maybe he did a lot of damage. Let me get back to the results screen here and we'll see if he's got any kills or anything. I ended up 16 shots fired and 3 kills. It's, it's, that's not too shabby. Of course, that M10, you know, sees the artillery. <laughs> Instead of taking me out, who's more dangerous than the artillery at that point, he, both of them tanks, they both ran right down to the hill, and all they focus, artillery, artillery thought. Uh, uh, it's like, you know, see, it, it just, uh, artillery, uh, it, it makes people dumb. So we got a shot right there on the M12. Can we put one in there? Can we sneak one in there? Yes, we can. 148. Can we sneak another one? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, and the Hellcat finished him off. So, the Hellcat, he did good, I think. If I remember, I think he had uh, he had five kills or something. Something like that fact. So he didn't do anything. He just didn't take any damage. Sneaky bastard. <laughs> 7,500 uh, silver. 36, 62 XP with a multiplier. Second class mastery batch. 2,000 damage dealt. 19 penetrations. Three tanks destroyed. My armor blocked zero. Zero! Yeah, he had six kills, so he, you know, he did his thing. And took no damage, so he played smart. He played back and, and did what he could, so. One shot for 148 to the M12. T25-2, one shot for 136. T29 bounced off. T25-AT, four shots for 484. Took out his ammo rack. 
Took him out of the game. PZ M10, 11 shots for 1261. Took him out of the game. T29, one shot for 27. Took him out of the game. So, yeah, you know, it was good enough for second place. It, it wasn't great by any means. Um, but I don't have very many videos with the Chiri, so I am running it. And this is the typical game I get in it, you know. 2,000 damage, 18, 2,021. Um, you know, when you have a gun that only does 100 damage per shot, 120, 130, it, it's... It's hard to have monster games in it, so. 40 shots fired, 24 hits, 19 penetrations, uh, 2,056 damage dealt, 19 assists. Yay! I defended 11 cap points. Yay! <laughs> Five tanks hit, three destroyed, but I took 400 damage, which, boo. Yeah, like I said, this tank... The the auto loading gun is really good close up, but the armor you can't play close up. So, yeah, it's better to sit back, take your shots as you can get them, sneak them in there as you can, and uh, you know even if it's stay alive till halfway through the game and then do what I did. But you look at the teammates there: zero, one fifty nine, one fifteen, one eighty eight. You know, I we didn't have much help. There was a few of us that did okay, but uh, you know, I'm glad I stayed back. And uh, and waited, and then pounced towards the end. So, hope you enjoy the video. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what I did right or wrong. And remember, when you're on that battlefield, shoot the red ones.